<clears throat> shalom, shalom, this is Kapari, a.k.a. Pops, out of GMS Chicago, with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Bashem, Kodash. To the apostles and elder bishops out of um, um, the East, um, East Coast, you know, I want to send double honors because they do rule well. That I've taught that I was taught this knowledge and truth by or two. I want to send double honors because they do teach what they do rule well. For the brethren around the world, pushing this truth on cut on filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the prophecies, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with people and planet. I send salutations because they are declaring because we are declaring war on the planet. For the hope elect, I hope this is edifying for the aqua, the few, and the true. As listeners to say it in charity, keep doing so. But for scorn and scoff for reprobate two thirds Israelites and seventeen other nations in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it's only gonna get worse. Okay, this is uh Jeremiah thirty-two. Let me go on and slide it back down here to uh, twenty-seven. Okay. I'm gonna start reading here and I'm gonna kinda of skip around here in this chapter a little bit and then probably skip around to a couple other uh, uh, um, precepts in different places but okay this is Jeremiah 32 and 27 behold I am Yahweh the power of all flesh is there anything too hard for me okay so people want to talk about how he's the he's you know he's, he's the God of all uh, he's he's the God of all people yeah he is he says it himself we never disputed the fact that he's not the all-powerful God and he's the God of, of all nations. But there's only one people that he chose to be. Uh, 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 as, as, as for lack of a better word, we would say his relatives. Okay. His people. His chosen. Okay. There's only one people that he chose that. And that's Israel. Okay. Because here in Jeremiah, he's actually getting ready. He's, he's bringing down wrath on him. Okay. Because he says, uh, therefore thus says uh, Yahweh, behold, I will give the city to the hand of the Chaldeans and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And the Chaldees that fight against this city shall come and set fire on the city and burn it with the houses upon whose roof they have offered incense to Baal and poured out drink offerings to other gods to provoke me to anger. So right here, Yahweh. Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai is upset with the children of Israel, with the with the inhabitants of Israel, with the with the lineage, not just the inhabitants, but the lineage of Israel, the bloodline of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel. He's upset with them. Okay, for the children of Israel and the children of Judah, so that's northern and southern kingdom have only done evil before me from their youth for the children of Israel have only provoked me to, to anger with the work of their hands says Yahweh okay so he's going in and he's letting Jeremiah know I'm gonna fuck him up okay uh, 32 because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah which they have done to provoke me to anger they, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and inhabitants of Jerusalem, and they have turned unto me the back and not the face. So they're not trying to deal with his law, statutes, and commandments, okay, and these things. So he's pissed. Though I taught them rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. Okay, so we always had some people that was in the midst that was going to be speaking the right thing and, and the truth, but they, but like I said, we we call hell as a nation, so this Edom might not want to catch hell as a nation because he says that he didn't do this or he didn't do that, or whatever is a lie, okay? Because if if he didn't do it, he said he didn't do it in this lifetime, but he did it in a lifetime, okay? Because you come back every third or fourth generation. So anyway, 
Uh, but they have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which in the valley of the sun of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Molech, that owl that's on your dollar. That that Molech, that owl that's out there in Bohemian Grove. See, that, that's been around for a long time. And these Edomites are worshipped and prayed into it even up until today. Okay. You know, uh, 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 Russo spoke on it. Uh, what's his name? What's his other name? Uh, I can't think of that other uh, uh, chunky white boy that talked about this. And I, I should say Esau, this Edomite. Um, is it Alex Jones? Might have been Alex Jones that talked about it. Okay? But this is what I'm saying. So, you know, these people don't spoke on this. Okay? So this has been a, a, around a while, okay? Okay, let me go to verse 33. And they have turned to me the back and not the face, though I taught them rising early, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. So how could they have received instruction? There had to be somebody there that was saying what was right. So, you know, even though it says priests and his prophets, it wasn't all of them. There had to be somebody there that was speaking the word correctly. And tell them, Jeremiah's there. And he's telling them, okay? See what I'm saying? So even though they going to fuck off, Jeremiah's there telling them what they're supposed to be doing. Okay? But like I said, he's going he's gonna to be caught in the middle of this. Okay? So, after all that's been said, you skip down to 37. It says, Behold, I will gather them, gather them out of all the countries where I have driven them in my anger. And in my fury, in great wrath, and I will bring them again into this place and will cause them to dwell safely. Well, like I said, you know, these curses were starting to pass to Israel. Okay. And, and when have they been lifted? They haven't. So we've been living with them and dealing with them all this time, in and out, on and off. And we in them now. Okay, but they being lifted off again. But, and this is for the last time. I ain't going to say hopefully this is for the last time. Because this Edomite is in the last of his rulership. Okay. He's in the last of his rulership. Matter of fact, let me, let me get a scripture and prove that. This is 2nd Ezra 14 11. For the world is divided into 12 parts. And the 10 parts of it are gone already. And half of a tenth. And there remains that which is after the half of the tenth part. Okay? So now, if we was already into the tenth part, and this is actually written before Yahweh Shai came into play, what part will we be in now? Okay? We're in the twelfth part. we in the third day. Okay? So now, the question is, is Yahweh Shai going to show up because you got the night and the day being a day. So, are we in the night or are we in the day? Well, considering all the things that we're seeing right now, okay, the light of day is being shined as, even as we speak. Why? Because the men and the prophets are out here putting the light on it. Okay, so, because the, 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 the dark of it was before the 1960s. Now we we must be into the light part of it because now the the earth, the truth has been pushed to the ends of the earth, and now that it's been pushed to the ends of the earth via this internet, now you see the end coming. So we must we got to be into the sunrise of it. I speak as a man on that, but based on the signs that I'm seeing, we must be entering into the day. Okay. Because the nighttime comes first. Okay. But he says that the Lord also says he's going to come like a thief into the night for those that aren't paying attention. But for those that can see, they're going to be able to see the light. And we're dealing in the light. 
okay? So, um, so that's that, the part has been broken. So if we was into the tenth part, and this was before Yahweh Shai came up, okay? How much longer, further along, can we be that he's been here and gone and been gone for over two thousand years now? And it says a day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day. So he's been gone for over 2,000 years, so we would be into the part of that third day. Okay. So now let me get back to where I was at. Okay, now I don't want to tap the exit. So I'm going to go back to, uh, let me go back to Jeremiah. Since it didn't automatically want to go back there to, to it for me. So 32 and 33. Okay. And so now let's skip down a little bit further. Let's go down to 37. Okay. Now I'm, uh, let me pick up at 30, uh, 36. And now therefore thus says Yahweh, the power of Israel. Concerning this city, wherefore ye say it shall be delivered into the hands of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and great wrath, and I will bring them again into this place, and they shall dwell safely. They shall dwell safely. So if the people are going to dwell safely, that means that those people that are there in Israel now must not be those people because they, they're not dwelling in safety. They got an iron dome over there and they still get missile strikes. So they're not dwelling in safely. They're not dwelling in safety. Dwelling safely, as this scripture would say. So those must not be the people. And they shall be my people, and I will be their power. And I will give them one heart and one way. That hasn't happened. You got different Israelite camps called on different names and this, that, and other. There's only one name. Uh, uh, Acts 4 and 12. Acts 4 and 12. There's only one name under heaven which a man can be saved by. Right? So if that's the case, then why you got all these Israelite, different Israelite camps out here called it? On on different on different titles, saying the day the name of the Lord, when His name is obvious, ne Acts four and twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Okay, well, my we must be saved. Everybody, no, Yahweh shot. Verse 10, be it known unto all you and to all the people of Israel by the name of Yahweh Mashiach of Nazareth, who ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. Don't let the bones of, of this letter J and this uh, Christ, which actually just means Mashiach or anointed, don't let that that don't let that throw you. Now the J wasn't even around, it didn't even come around being invented to the 1500s. wasn't even being well 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 known and well used because when the scripture, when the King James version was used, was was written or translated in the 1611 version, the letter J wasn't even in it. Okay, but there's no other name that you can be saved by. So, let's go back to where we was at then. Let's see, it does not go back automatically. So, let's go back to Jeremiah 32 and 36. Okay. So, that, so therefore... And now, therefore, thus says Yahweh, the power of Israel concerning this city. Wherefore, ye say it shall be delivered to the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the 
by the famine and by the pestilence. 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath. And I will bring them again into this place and cause them to dwell safely. And they shall be my people and I will be their power. And I will give them one heart. So there ain't going to be a whole bunch of different names that the name of the Savior, Yahweh Shai, is going to be being called by. And one way that's going to be having all the law, statutes, and commandments written in them so we don't go off, that they may fear me. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Forever. So forever. So if we're going to fear him forever and not be able to go off, that's, put, so that's putting on immortality. For the good of them and, and of their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. So the programming is going to be perfect in, the, in our brains this time around. When we get them new bodies, those brains are going to be downloaded with the perfect will and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we're going to be open and acceptable to it. Readily looking for it. Gladly to receive it. Never wanting to ever have to be put in that position again and go off again. Which he said we never will. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good and will plant them in this land and surely with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus says Yahweh, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I also bring them all the good that I have promised them. That's the covenant. Okay, but to, but to do this and, 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 and to put that in place, there's no remission of sins without the shedding of blood. So who was going to be the blood that's being talked about that, that's going to be needed here to make this covenant valid? It's not going to be the blood of rams and goats. So whose blood would that be? That's Yahweh Shah. Like I read over there in the first place. Okay. In Acts 4 and 12. Or well, in Acts the fourth chapter. So this, the, the, you know, the Yahweh Shah was declared from the beginning. The, the covenant that was going to be entered into was made and, 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 and show glimpses of in the beginning when Abraham was told to sacrifice Isaac. This, is, this has been in the works from the beginning and Yahweh says that from the beginning. He told Jeremiah, I knew thee when thee was in the womb. Let me get that. Jeremiah 1 and 1. Jeremiah 1 and 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He knew his elect from the beginning. Can't get around it. So even though he's the God of all people, he chose Israel. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth you can't get around this and you other nations you, you can't slide in there. And it isn't going to matter what you look like. It's going to matter what your lineage is. So for the elect, I hope that's edifying. That for you 
for you uh, speckled birds that y'all don't fit in or you don't feel right or things ain't quite comfortable or whatever the case might be and you always seem to be catching hell even though you you you, you look like another race of people that could be why why you're a Moabite but you dance like a jake Why you why you a Hamite but you ball but you ball like uh 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 uh, uh Akeem Elijah Wan or somebody or you got handles like Kyrie Irving Just saying So like I said uh for for you for you ones that don't look quite like us so-called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans. You hang in there and you stay in there. And you keep believing this word and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing in the process. The Lord ain't forgotten you. His eyes are a thousand times brighter. He see you. So I hope that's edifying. I want to send all praises, honor, and glory again out to you. Howell, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of the East, New York region, the, the, the apostles, elders, uh, the apostles and elder bishops, I want to send uh, uh, double honors because they have taught me this truth because they do rule well. But brethren around the world push this truth on cut off filter, giving you the good, the bad, and the ugly in the scriptures, correctly breaking down prophecies and interaction with people on planet, declaring warning, again, salutations. Hope free elect, I hope that's edifying. Okay. For you people that you Johnny Shaft motherfuckers out there and, the th and, 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 and these other Israelite camps and whatnot that think they're going to be all looking like fucking Johnny Shaft or, or, or whatever, you got a rude awakening. Okay? So for the Aqua, the few of the true that listen to say the chair to keep doing so, and for that whole first group, a hearty shot of wine. But for you two third Israelites and 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, I think it's going to get better. It's only going to get worse. So with that first group of Hardy Shalom and with the second group of Barbara Ball.